What's up gamers? It's your host Cobra, and today we've got a Heroes of Mavia update. We expected this update to come relatively soon because staking was always on the Scry Studios roadmap for Q1 and we're already into mid-March, which means there's only a few weeks of Q1 left. They've got a few other things on the roadmap left to deliver in that time frame as well. Uh, but for today, we are taking a look specifically at the staking update. Now, I had a good chuckle when I read the update because Scry Studios is another uh, project claiming to be the first ones to offer soft staking. Uh, the reality is they're not even the first ones that we've covered on this channel. And uh, a game that we're not even playing anymore, uh, Nova Rally, <laughs> had this feature back in August or September. Uh, and I don't believe they were first either. But regardless, it is a nice feature. So let's talk about how it's a little bit different. Uh, staking in the traditional sense means that you send your NFTs or tokens uh, to another wallet that is typically controlled by the development team and that means you don't have access to your tokens or NFT. And that's interesting for the community because if you don't have access to it, you can't sell it. And that's the real benefit is that you're committing to holding for a certain time period. And because you're actually sending uh, those tokens or NFTs and then uh, sending them back when you unstake, that means that there is gas fees involved. And on the Ethereum blockchain, uh, those can be notable. So this allows you to keep control because the NFT stays in your own wallet. Uh, you simply make a commitment on the website that you're going to keep it in that particular wallet and there are no fees for that. Uh, there might be a quick little transaction fee when you're uh, interacting with the uh, website, but you're not going to be sending it anywhere. So uh, the fees will be minimal or zero and that is definitely better. On the 26th, uh, this feature is going to be rolled out and any landowner is going to be able to log into the website and soft stake their land NFTs. Now, when you do this, it's going to be a simple process on the website. Uh, you will have to sign a transaction, uh, but the NFT will stay in your wallet. Then you simply hold on to it. In this case, they're asking you to hold it for nine months. Uh, which we will talk about a little bit more later. Uh, and in return, you're going to get a gold statue NFT. Now, if you remember from our roadmap uh, and white paper breakdown, the statue NFTs are upgrades that you place on your land to increase their abilities and resources. And in this case, the gold NFT is going to be both the first statue offered in the game, uh, which has a little bit of historical value potentially, uh, but its function will be to increase your gold production. And that will give you an advantage when the game actually starts because gold is one of the many resources you're going to need to spend to upgrade your HQ and land. Deflating news to say the least. So let's talk about my disappointment. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this because it's fairly obvious. Nine months to hold an NFT in order to get another NFT that may or may not have any actual value is just kooky dukes. The, sp the speed at which that this space moves is crazy and nine months is a fucking eternity. Uh, so to me, they have completely missed the mark with the reward. The nine months part is really not that big of a deal, but there was a much better way to approach this. We're going to talk about that on the flip side. However, the other real reason why I am disappointed is that I thought this was going to re be related to the Mavia token. I mean, the current roadmap for Q1 lists the Mavia token launch very first. <laughs> it also has staking pools going live right below it. The fact that they have the Mavia token launch and staking listed together in the same time period means that I think it was safe or fair of me to assume that staking was going to be related to the Mavia token and that that would be the reward we were 
uh, chasing. Mavi is the governance token and the one that's likely going to have some real value. So that would have been a great reward and certainly would have driven some market activity. Of course, most of you probably care much more about how the market reacted than how I reacted. So let's take a quick look. And uh, immediately after the announcement, we started to see dumping. Uh, people were very disappointed and the floor dropped from uh, about 0.9 to uh, right under 0.6. So that's like a 33% drop uh, and uh, certainly not what we were expecting leading into this news. I also talked to all of my friends that have made an investment into Amavia and frankly this soured the, the project for all of them. Uh, I didn't talk to anybody that was excited by this uh, announcement even a little bit and uh, how negative the reaction was was a uh, quite a uh, varied to say the least but um, I have at least one friend that uh, purchased legendary land on secondary and read this news and immediately dumped it now we didn't even talk about the other disappointment because I only have common land, so this one doesn't strictly apply to me. However, uh, they have a second reward for anybody that has rare or legendary land. And if you thought that a gold statue NFT in nine months was worthless, which we did, then you're gonna really laugh at this one because reward number two is a mystery reward. And worse than that, the mystery reward for legendary holders has, pro has been promised to be slightly better. I mean, if that doesn't get you to want to spend your ETH, I don't know what will, right? <laughs> Frankly, the, the update missed the mark in a whole bunch of places. For Scry Studios, a couple of things that we can probably still change to improve this is nine months for a single reward is pretty much worthless. It's, it's especially worthless with this particular design because the progress can't be sold. And what I mean by that is you have to stake the NFT for the full nine months yourself in order to get the reward at the end. So if I decide three months down the line that I'm no longer interested in owning this land, I'd like to sell it, the buyer isn't getting any benefit from the three months of staking and neither will I. So there's no value there. The other thing is that nine months is just not gonna hold anybody's attention in this space. Uh, in the crypto world, NFT space, things develop rapidly and uh, our attention spans are very, very short. A better approach would have been nine monthly rewards. And it could lead up to the gold statue at the end, that's fine, uh, but Nine, nine rewards for nine months means that we're getting something every single month that gives us a reason to think about Heroes of Mavia every single month, even when there's nothing to do. Uh, that also means that some FOMO can be created in the marketplace as players that don't have any land today start to realize they're missing out on benefits. They may want to jump in and collect the rest of those and that can add some value to the secondary markets. The other thing we need to do is improve communications. Uh, this is more feedback you could have easily gotten from a consultant and feel free to reach out to the free roll because we do that as well. Uh, but the roadmap still says that the Mavia token launch is coming this month, that hero NFT sales are coming this month, that statue NFT sales are coming this month. And you know what, if that one were to have been true, then we would have some data to put some value on this reward, but we didn't deliver that either. Um, it also says that staking pools are going live. I don't know if this update is meant to check that particular box or not because staking pools going live, I thought and assumed was gonna be related to the Mavia token launch, which hasn't happened yet, and we're not getting any tokens. There's not really a pool involved with soft staking your land, so there's opportunity to do better. What about land holders? Well, my recommendation here is go ahead and do the soft staking. Uh, we recommended Heroes of Mafia as uh, an investment that you were gonna hold because we think this game has a lot of potential and 
the fundamentals there have not changed. Uh, this game still looks like one that is going to be very popular and have quite a lot of earning potential. And the land NFT will be key to that earning. So we're not looking to sell our land, especially given the drop in value. Um, and soft staking by its nature is really zero commitment from you. You're going to spend a couple of seconds to set it up. And that's really it. Uh, if you decide to sell later on, by all means, sell later on. My other takeaway from this announcement is to expect a bumpy road, both leading up to the game launch and probably afterwards as well. Uh, now, I don't mean that to FUD the project at all. And to be clear, we intend to continue holding our land and we intend to purchase heroes and statues when those sales come up as well. But it's clear that uh, the team at Scrice is not very experienced. That's okay. NFTs are brand new. Uh, and this is their first blockchain game. So that is totally reasonable and ex uh, to be expected. That doesn't change the fact, though, that they're probably going to trip over their feet a couple more times along the way. And they're probably going to learn a few more hard lessons. So expect a bumpy road leading up to the game launch and frankly probably afterwards as well none of that means we won't make any money uh, but it does mean that the news cycle could make our value go up and down a little bit more than we like and that wraps up our heroes of mavia update video on soft staking if you're holding a land nft i'd love to know what you think hit us up on twitter uh, or Put a comment below and let us know what you think about this uh, update. So far, I haven't found anybody that was happy with it, but there's bound to be somebody out there. So uh, speak up if you thought this was great and uh, why, if that were the case. Um, if you're disappointed, let's hear some bitching below as well.